Hello everyone. In this section, we are going to talk about how can we add some advertisement to our application and how can we get some money from this advertisement. So we are going to use three steps. Those three steps is number one, how can we add some account in the Google AdMob? The second step, how can we activate an account in the Firebase? And the third step, how can we create an application in the Android Studio and add those advertisement to our app? Don't worry, I'm going to talk about all those three steps in detail. So let's start with the first step. The first step is how can we create an account in the Google AdMob? But at first, what is Google AdMob? It is a mobile advertisement platform that you can use to generate revenue from your apps. So if we need to add some advertisement to our app and got some money from Google, so we can use the Google Ad Mob. Don't, don't forget that. The money you have gotten from this advertisement will be generated from how many users downloaded your app, how many users view those advertisements, how many users click on those advertisements, uh, what about the user involvement, which means how many users use your app and for how many minutes daily they use this app, okay? All those depends on how much money you will get from those advertisements. So, to create an account in the Google AdMob, it is very simple. At first, you should already have an account in Google, like Gmail, for example. Then, you can go to this website, which is google.com admob, then click here on sign up so you can activate your account. After those steps, you will get something called an app ID. What is app ID? An app ID is a unique number assigned to your apps when they are added to the admob. You have created, for example, an application called Yazan app. Google AdMob will assign an ID for this app so it can be distinguished in the Google AdMob. So the app ID used to identify your app. You should get a unique ID for each app. The next step after you have created an app in the Google AdMob and then you have gotten an app ID, the next step you should use which type of advertisement you need. You have three types of advertisements, a banner, intrusion, and rewarded. The banner is uh, this type of rectangular portion, small portion of rectangle of advertisement. You can put it on the, either in the top or in the bottom or in the middle of the screen. The second type, which is the intrusion one, which is used to make advertisement as full screen. And the third one is the rewarded, which is some videos. So if you see this video for 10 seconds, you will get some credits, which is used for some games. After you have select your advertisement type, you will get something called a unit ID. Don't conflict unit ID with the application ID. The application ID is an ID assigned for your whole app. But here, for each advertisement you have created in the Google AdMob, you will get also another thing called a unit ID. So, advertisement unit ID is a unique ID number assigned to each of your ad units when they are created in the AdMob. It is some number like this. So, for example, here I have created an advertisement called My Ad, and I have selected the type of or the format of advertisement as a banner, and then I've gotten this one. Don't worry, I'm going to talk about the practical space and I'm going to show you how can we do it practically in the next videos. Okay, so see you next.